Go ahead. This, this is the stuff. This is stuff I need right here. Yeah. Go ahead. I um, okay. okay. All right. Um, well, you know, Claude, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, actually, I wish more people would, would ask that question, you know, really up front and just get right to it. Yeah, that's, that, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, you, know, you know, Claude, let me ask you this. Uh, I mean, you already said you, you were looking for a mentor. Tell me a little bit about, just stop for a second and imagine, you, you know, and describe to me, what kind of money are, are you really looking to make in this business? You know, um, I have a good job. I, you know, I make um, – 85,000 a year and if, if not, but I'm just, I, I hate going to work. I, my boss is just so rude and I would love to just be able to work from home. I, I just imagine myself working from home and, and um, you know, I'm, I've got more time in the afternoon. My kids go to, you know, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts and, and soccer and Taekwondo. And I, I, I can never be part of that. I'm, I'm more, I come home at eight, nine o'clock some days. And uh, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Um, I would just love to have a, a more freedom. You know, I'd like it's it's the money is important too, but uh, I would just like to have that freedom in my life. Hmm. Wow. And that's I mean that's a uh, sounds like something you're 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 so uh, you're really after. And, and let me ask you this: If I were to tell you. You know, I'm thinking of a transition here. I, do I go tell, a, tell it now is when you tell a story or you reiterate my fantasy. Keep me in that subconscious okay. Okay. fantasy. Keep, real. Okay. Keep painting okay. that picture that I just gave you. See, what I the beauty of Guts is, is the prospect, te, the prospect becomes the salesman and tells you how to sell them. I just gave yeah. you the keys to the kingdom. Yeah, okay. All you've so, got to do is, all you got to do is repeat what I gave you, elaborate paint a picture, tell a story, and then right. go, f and then, and then close me. That's called the commitment close step. Let's assume you've qualified me for the money. Right, right. right. So I'm going into the, co the commitment close. Yeah. And, then and that's the three to six needs and greeds, which you repeat, you tell a story, you keep, but now with Guts 2.0, you're still painting, you're, you're painting, you might even say to me, this is a move I do. Okay, uh, I take, I've studied, I, t I got certified in this. Um, I say, you know what, for a second, I want you, Mr. can I reverse, do you mind? Oh, no, 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 go ahead. Mr. Mr. Hart, you're in a comfortable chair, I can see that. I want you, are, are your feet on the ground? Yeah, they are. Put you, keep your hands, put them in your lap or on, the, on, the, on your desk there. Just, and just, I want you to sit back a little. And cl close your eyes, do you trust me for a second? I'm going to paint a little picture in your mind here. I want you to close your eyes for a second. Just close them and relax. You're feeling wonderful. And imagine for a moment, you don't have to get up in the morning. You can sleep late. Your lovely bride, the kids come in the bed with you. You snuggle. It's a winter's day. You don't have to. And then you get up. You have your coffee. You have breakfast together. And then you go upstairs. to You work on your desk. It's, and you work. And you're having fun. You're talking to nice people. And you're putting transactions together and then you have lunch with your wife or you take the kids to the baseball game or taekwondo and that, that that life and your eyes are you're so relaxed right now your eyes are just glued to your to your face you can't you're just so relaxed and life is so good and so meaningful and you don't have to do anything you don't want to do and and everything and how do you feel how does that feel how does that picture look to you open your eyes right now Go ahead. And open wow. your eyes. I want you I to could, feel refreshed. What's that picture like for you? I could see it. Yeah, it was real, and it felt great. Yeah, and you, whew, you see, you're, you're going right even into subconscious. You listen to this video, just the, the audio, and you, you're relaxed. You're laying on the couch, and you listen to what I just did. Your eyes are going to close. You're going to be relaxed, and even the, this is not your painting, your picture, but you might get so relaxed that you will just, you might, I fall asleep some, I listen to hypnosis tapes and things like that. I've experienced, so I fall asleep. I go, <laughs> but there's a moment before you go to sleep where you're just totally relaxed. You know that moment where sometimes, do you ever have that little shake before you go to sleep or something like that? No, you know, I just fall asleep. Some people, that's when all your muscles relax. Okay. I, I run a lot, so my muscles get tight and stuff during the day and, and, yeah. And just sometimes before I sleep, I, I get a little shudder, like a shiver. 
or something like that's when you're just before you're going to sleep and your mind, your, your subconscious is so open to these suggestions. If I say to you in that relaxed state, wouldn't you love, what's your favorite ice cream? Is it Hagen dazs chocolate? Isn't that the silky, delicious, full flavored? Would, imagine if you had a, someone, you don't have any of that in your refrigerator, in your freezer right now, wouldn't you? A, wouldn't a spoon or two of really nice chocolate ice cream, what would, oh, imagine that hitting your tongue and that wonderful sensation of chocolate flavor. Boom. It's not that hard to do what I'm doing here. Right. It, it's, just, it's just suggestion. It's confidence. A little bit of repetition. It's getting someone to trust you because of your confidence. If they trust you, if they don't trust you, the walls go up and you can't do, you can't do any of this. If you can't get someone to do anything that is against their basic ethics, character, religion, stuff like that. You cannot get someone to do something they are unwilling to do. But if you can gain their trust by asking questions, getting them, getting their attention, getting them relaxed, now they are such into a, they are in such a receptive state for your suggestions. And in business, if you listen to speak, uh, great speakers, or, uh, they're mesmerizing the audience with these suggestions. Anthony Robbins, watch him on, did you ever see him on Netflix, what he does? No. You got to watch what he does, listen to the way he does it, and the words he uses uh, sometimes. He's very good at what he does. Hmm. You can't take that away from him. Do you ever ask yourself why some people are so receptive to con artists? Do you ever watch the news at night and, you know, you, you hear these stories about old people? You're in Florida. You hear this shit all the mm -hmm. time about old people who get taken advantage of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old lady that got okay. um, the, swindled. The easiest people to, to sometimes hypnotize are children. Children have great imaginations. Sure. You know, and, and sometimes seniors get a little bit childlike hmm. also so that, and people take advantage of that do you ever ask yourself i don't know how how can they be so dumb why did they do this why some people it's very hard to resist people who have who have this ability you know i don't ask myself that question very often the one question i do ask is like what's the difference between the the super high level athletes compared to the because you know, you could take someone that's an athlete in their in their craft, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's a guy that's just at an elite level. And what's the mentality from this person? And I don't I don't always think it's always competition. It's I think it has a lot to do with, like you said, that subconscious. There's a belief there that is is so much stronger than everybody else's. So that that person is just ultimately. Uh, you know, a step above or, or wants it. I mean, like, look at all their greats. I mean, I, I follow basketball. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Michael Jordan. They, they all had this thing where it was like a belief, like way beyond. And it's not yes. the time of time because yes. that comes later. If you believe that you're going to fail at something, it's, it's highly probable you will fail at it. Oh, you'll make it. You, like we said, you'll make it fail because you're – your subconscious will find reasons to fail. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes you've got to talk to yourself because that's self-hypnosis where you'll, you'll say to yourself, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it happen. I don't know. I'm a little nervous and everything, but I want to, I want to do this. I want to make this happen. Sure. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little thing that I, I do. I do my own like meditation hypnosis every day. And one of my goals this month was to get to 2,500 bucks. Uh, a month and I'm at 1500 and I got two more days. Yeah. Okay. And I've seen that happen so many times to me. Um, you, I have a story. I probably told it to you also. Um, no. 20 something years ago and Claudia and I had a major commit financial commitment and business sucked. It was two, three months of just shit business. My bad, my fault. And she was, you know, when a woman worries about money, it's, that's an uncomfortable yeah. feeling for a man. It's a very, it's very for everybody. Not, not a happy house. And I just got mad at myself. It kind of an interesting react. I got pissed off at myself. And I said, I know I can do this. I, I, I refuse to accept. I got on that phone. I busted my ass. And I, I think I told you this. Story. I made the biggest sale of my life. 
out of this. The problem was solved, paid off the, uh, took care of the financial obligation. The best part about it is when I went to Claudia and I said, honey, don't have to worry anymore. I, here's all of my, I just made the biggest sale. We had nothing. And she started crying and a hug and everything. You remember those moments. Yeah. You remember, well, what changed? Uh, how did I go from a bum to a winner like that? What happened? Well, you got emotional. You got emotional about it. And that, I think, the emotion it bypasses the, the fear of the, the conscious mind. It bypasses that to get you into the subconscious where you can say, look, it's on. Because yeah. you, you didn't want, the, the fear was, the fear was like, hey, maybe you didn't want to make the phone calls or what have you. But the fear of letting your wife down and having her struggle or having her be devastated was greater. So then you push through it. Yeah, I pushed through it. I didn't care about the consequences of embarrassment yeah. or rejection or anything like that. I know the number one re I tell people to do one simple thing. Can you pick up the phone and talk to five people a day? Right. And I know a lot of them do, don't do that because of fear, anxiety, uh, fear of frustration, fear of rejection. Right. bothering people they can't get past that right hmm. you know if i can get them past that because i can raise their confidence okay it's it's amazing what happened did you um did i tell you about adrian byrne no adrian byrne is um one of my new clients he's a hypnotherapist in ireland Okay, I have heard of this guy. Okay, he's on my Skype. You got to go back on the Skype because I, I post a lot of things. There are books there, there are deals, there's a Skype. You got the group is very cohesive. They really communicate. You should take advantage of it. It's a private little group, and these are all guts devotees. Okay, okay. and Adrian offered, and um, if you go to me on Skype, I'll give you his link. And Adrian is on our Skype group. Well, you're in our Skype group, and um, the thing about it is he um, offered a free hypnosis. This is a professional, okay? I mean, this is a guy who does it for a living. And he offered a free session with anybody in the group. And wow. he's, he's, really, uh, he's really amazing. He gets people to stop smoking, to lose weight, without drugs, without, you know, with, uh, uh, without all, all the ramifications and everything. He, it's amazing what he, what he can do, planting these suggestions in the mind. He uses direct hypnosis, the, the trance-like state. Okay, wow. All right. He's very good. And, and he's a licensed hypnotherapist. Yes. And he's on my Skype page, so if you want to go there, I can... Uh, I'm looking can, here. Yeah, because you can get him on Skype. He's seven hours uh, while you're in Florida. Uh, five, five hours difference. For Ireland okay. and take advantage of it if you've never been uh, in, in, a, in a deep uh, trance or hypnosis and you want to change something develop a new good habit or get rid of an old bad habit he'll put that in your mind and sometimes it takes repetition but sometimes just one time will take yeah it's it's really it's when we and all the things we've talked about today tonight as they relate to business, this is stuff nobody does. <laughs> I'm gonna, do you have two seconds? Two seconds. Yeah, hang on. Go for it. Keys A. Where'd you go? One. Oh, okay. I'm gonna grab one. <laughs> I was gonna use I was gonna use the uh, the other the other art of uh, getting building some uh, belief and that's third party validation. I've been preaching preaching as a parent this uh like I was I'm trying to get him to meditate and, and all this other stuff and he looks at me like ah oh, come on you know but if if Mr Diamond says it that's teacher all of a sudden he listens he actually knows he remembers you he remembers oh, sure. you he asks about you all the time he's like oh. I said, I got a call oh, yeah. conference call, Mr. Diamond said, oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. Tell him I said hello. So he's, he says, a, he's a good kid. He's a good-looking kid. Good. Yes. Keep him away from the girls for a little while longer. I, I, I try, but I, I think puberty is getting the best of them. I, oh, I tell him just wait puberty for a nice one. Puberty always wins. <laughs> just I said, wait for, a, wait for a nice one. Wait yeah. for a nice yeah. one that, that, that's, that's kind, sweet, just like you. you and have you, that very long talk. <laughs> yeah. We have a bunch of them. Don't worry. Oh, good, good. It's it's, it's right. important. You know, that's why kids need mom and a, a mom and a dad. 
That's uh, right. Absolutely. Kids are, you know, uh, they're at a stage when they're when they get into puberty. Um, that's when they start to break away. That's just the way things are. They have to live their own life and start right. their own family and stuff. In the beginning, you're you're a god. Uh, oh, anything daddy says or whatever, sure. you know. You know? <laughs> but then that's just part of the natural order of things. And then they then sometimes they become teenagers too. Sure, that <laughs> ideally, right? And that's when you really you've got to. That's when you really got to. I'm going to breathe deeply. I'm not going to get emotional. I am not going to yell. I am not going to get pissed off. <laughs> I'm just going to pace my, I'm just going to deal with this. <laughs> yeah. and, then they grow, and then they eventually grow up, go to school, colleges, and they become wonderful human beings. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you do it right. That's why you invest the time. It's like anything else. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good. So takeaway, 30 seconds. What did you learn this evening? Uh, takeaways, uh, several. First is, um, you know, using, using the, um, the guts 2.0, if you will, to coin it, whatever, that um, it, it's, it's another level of sell selling because it's now, it's getting past just, the, you know, the, the conscious mind. It's going to the subconscious, which is just going to make people make decisions faster and also um, make them more, make I mean, make the checks bigger and also have people make commitments stronger because you're making a commitment with your emotions and subconscious, that's going to stick because now it's, it's going to stick not up to you. It's that's not up it. to you anymore. How many salespeople do we talk to? And the minute we get off the phone, they're, they're just gone. Oh, yeah. If we there's, even get that there's far. There's nothing there. How many, but sometimes you talk to somebody or you read something and it, or you – you meet somebody who's doing some of the techniques we're talking about today, yeah, yeah. the art and science of persuasion, and it sticks. And it's there. And then you go to bed, you think about it. You wake up. Oh, man, you know, I should have asked him this or that. I wonder what he meant by this or that. Oh, what was that book he told me about? I better call him back. I better, you know, it's in there so strong. Mm -hmm. you, you've, you've planted a seed in their mind, a picture that they can't get rid of. And that, if hopefully if you've set up another appointment or you put a time frame on it, you notice I always do a time frame. I only make the offer once. If you do, you got to get back to me at four thirty tomorrow and tell me yes or no on the contract or whatever. They got a clock ticking in their head. Sure they do. Yeah. Did you ever notice? Um, this is another example. You can you know the time exactly so without looking at your watch or looking at a, your phone or anything. You just yeah. you ever wake up in the morning at the right exactly at the right time you wanted to yeah. wake up. Of course. Yeah. You have to catch a flight or something like that. You're up at 3.30. Yeah. yeah. You, don't, you don't need this computer. You've got this computer. Mm -hmm. It's working all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, if, you, if you know how to, with some, in some situations, the right, oh, using the techniques, it's, it's, too pow it's very powerful. It can make wow. you an awful lot of money and help a lot of people. Wow. Because they should be working with someone like Damon Hart. because should. He's, because he's a much better man than some of these guru. See, my, this is a grudge with me. I think some of these yeah. guru programs are just bullshit. They are. They are. They don't care about the people. They want, I, I went onto a guru's page tonight. Somebody told me about them. I wanted to check them out. They're doing lease purchase somewhere. And they, have, they don't have their phone number on their web page. You know what that's, what does that say? Does that say the same thing to you that it says to me? It screams to me, I will never be able to get in touch with you. Yeah, you want my money. You're telling me how wonderful you are, but I can't even talk to you. Oh, well, you can email my assistant in Pakistan. Yeah. BFD. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go, sir. It. This was good. It was a little longer than we thought. This, this, thought. Yeah, this was, I'll take it. Thank you. That was I'll, email you I'll email you the, um, the two recordings. Yeah, I'll look out for them. Thanks a lot. And put it into practice. Of course. Start, start using it right away. You will see remarkable financial benefits. Honestly. All right. Deal. I have three. So uh, real quick, I signed up another consulting client, 250 a month today, 250 okay. bucks. Beautiful. Why, yes, are why are you charging so Why are you charging, charging so little? little? I know. There's I nothing know. wrong. Don't get me wrong. 250 a month, God bless you. That pays a bill, right? That pays yeah. the phone bill or something. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't you think, what's the value you're going to be giving him? Uh, tons more. And, and right now, now I, have a, I think I have a little bit more uh, insight as to how I can do it. So 
now I'm gotta get in his mind the value, okay, yeah. hey, uh, on that. You know, first to mention price and all that, but is he has to perceive the trust and the and the value and two fifty down, two fifty a month. How much value does that say to him that you're you feel about? Yeah, your trust? yeah not much. Yeah. You know, yeah. people say, "How much are you, Clyde? I'm very expensive. <laughs> I, I, I'm, you know me. I do that. Yeah. He said, well, why do you think people pay me so much more than other people? I don't know. Well, we'll take a guess. Oh, well, maybe you're better than them. You're right. As long as it's positive, they're right. All right. And you just go to it. Got to go, sir. See you later. Okay. Thanks, Claude. Look out for the videos. Appreciate it.